Hi everybody, Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for the collective, for whoever, whenever, wherever. Today we're going to get a rune, then um, get some light seers, tarot, got the Akashic out, some cosmic critters, because we love those, and uh, the shamanic healing oracle. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful morning. Let's see the book of runes, what to start us with today. The spread. And we did that spread. Growth, rebirth, arcana, number 16. It's like a pointy B. The rune of life process, another of the cycle runes, Mercana denotes that form of fertility which promotes growth both symbolically and actually. The growth may occur in affairs of the world, family matters, one's relationship to oneself or to the divine. This is a leading to rune in that it leads to the blossoming and ripening. What is called for here is going into things deeply with care and awareness. Burkana is concerned with the power of influencing development and with the flow of beings into their new forms. Its action is gentle and penetrating and pervasive. First, disperse resistance, then accomplish the work. For this to happen, your will must be clear and controlled. In regard to the issue, your motives must be correct. Any dark corners should be cleansed. This must be carried out dilig diligently and sometimes with expert help. Modesty, patience, fairness, and generosity are called for here. Do you possess these virtues? Once resistance is dispersed and rectified, rectification carried out, and seen to hold firm, then through steadfastness and right attitude, the blossoming can occur. Events, or more likely aspects of character, can interfere with the growth of life and new life in life process. You may feel dismay at failing to take the right action, but rather than dismay, what is called for here is diligence. Examine what has taken place your role in it, your needs, the needs of others. Are you placing your want before the needs of others? Strip away until you can identify the blocks to growth in this situation. Then, penetrating gently, imitate the wind. You may be required to fertilize the ground again, but through correct preparation, growth is assured. So there we go with that um, spark coming through again. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few even more so when there are wants, right? And um, what are we resisting? What is it that, um, oh. mm, it's like letting down our defenses. It's not about giving up, it's about um, choosing our battles. You know, coming to that point, we're gonna like cross that precipice or we, is it the thought of being in the battle what's keeping us there? Temperance. Man, this temperance card. Yesterday, twice, and here it is again. It's really strong messages, all right? Um, this is also Sagittarius energy. Um, learning, growth, expansion, jovial, right? Jupiter rules Sag. This is the center of the galaxy, right? Where the Norns believed, um, well, they thought it came out of Scorpio, but the weaving of the um of the cosmos right um keep in mind there were science there were only four signs and then there were eight signs and then there were 12 signs and scorpio was one of those first four signs um and it was huge so uh i mean the amount of time that it covered so um there is this idea of this uh like rebirth process this reconfiguration right growth um like mixing those things together to um make a solid form right make something new patience and healing through that right if we let the thing go we allow ourselves patience oh because it's heavy it's a big it's like it's kind of a big deal you know we might be in a comfort zone with it and we might be considering you know and this is like packing it up moving it on 
you know what I mean? And um, we have to keep in mind that when we leave burdens behind, the intention isn't to pack them up and take them with us, right? And it's kind of like being at a crossroads here, having that choice of being able to go out into the world um, or stay where we are. It's like the devil, you know, oh, wow, I say that. And look what we get. The lovers, the devil in reverse and the Ten of Swords, two tens here, and choices, right? Those mixing of those choices. Um, this, is making, this is making the correct choice to uh, take the power away from the, the temptation, the thing that um, was keeping us stuck here. See, this is about having that choice, about going forward. And while this is a Sagittarius card and this is a Sagittarius card, this is Gemini, but check that out. There's that arrow. Making the choice to um, go in a direction, right? Temperance and the devil. Healing. Healing from the effects of... Um, what had previously held us back. That could be recovery from an addiction. That could be recovery from codependency. That could be getting ourselves back together after um, leaving a poor, uh, poor contract. Um, it could be, you know, anything. It could be food. It could be clothes. It could be community. It could be anything that is um, toxic to us, right? And having to uh, make the choice to leave that alone and recover from it, right? And it's like, here's this two of wands with the 10 of swords underneath of it and the 10 of wands next to it. And it's like, you know, do I choose a new battle here? Queen of wands, all these wands on the end. There's so many wands here today. So much fire, so much passion, you know, um, your creativity is what's going to move you forward. And these experiences, um, are a catalyst for change. This was the catalyst for change. I'm not lamenting this five of cups. Well, wow, this one's been coming out a lot too. Came out twice yesterday and now twice again today or, uh, today the twice we'll see, right? Two days in a row. Because that choice is, you know, stay here and be stuck or use what we've learned and move forward. Move out into the world. Make different choices, um, which is difficult when we're in that recovery period. Two of forces, the willow. That's the two of wands again. And when it's in the reverse here, it's about that inflexibility, about rigidity, about not um, wanting to bend, right? Um, the willow on the card. It's a giant tree, and it lives by a small amount of water, um, usually in the uh, the hills. Excuse me, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. They get little twigs. <laughs> Excuse me, I knew it was coming. Pardon. They get little twigs that come out of the ground, um, and they look like nothing's happening for a long time, sometimes years. And it's because they're building this root base that's capable of living um, with this ever-changing flow of water and wind and the earth beneath, right? Um, when it's in the reverse, it's about not setting those roots down, not being able to be flexible, right? Not when we, if we um, don't bend, we break, right? And so that's, this is a choice. Like I can move on um, or I can stay here and uh, be, be rigid, be, um, it feels like this. It feels like super confined, like can't move, you know, it feels like confinement um, and like the releasing of that. Wow with the temperance and the um, devil, you get this four of keys, the clearing away, right? Something that was in our path um, and we, it has to be moved, it has to be dealt with. We're not going to be able to get to our destination at the end of that road unless we take the time to um, deal with the obstacle in our way. And it's also interesting because temperance is a one plus four, five, devil is a one plus five, six, right? And here is the four. So it's the deduction, right? The reduction, the, um, the effort involved. What's this one say? Six of keys, the increscent moon, right? And again with these windows, there's these windows. What are you doing with your time where you are? What are you, what is it that you're creating? We talked about this, your creative force, this being an inspiration. And here we have, this is a sculptor, right? By the light of the
things that are reflected back he's able to create make um beautiful beautiful creations and that's um cathartic right your creativity is going to help you uh, process all of this and release some of these burdens what's this one king of forces in the reverse wow that's a divine um uh, divine counterparts here this is divine coupling here and um it's like the burden of the burden of someone else's want actions right um might be what's keeping us in this place going from that um going from that feeling of um Ferocity. Ooh, I heard ferocity. Ferocious. To being inspired. Right? Going from that, like, rigidity to the flexibility. Any, any more cards come up here? Uriel and the Sphinx, number 21. Yeah, you might need to um, seek higher wisdom on this. And again, here we go with Uriel, the archangel of fire, right? The inspiration, the creativity, all these wands out on the board. You know, are we using our, our passionate uh, creativity to be ferocious? And in what way, you know? Um, once we move the obstacles, it's like there's this confrontation. Here we go with confrontation again of um, like the previous experience, right? And the completion of that. And it leaves one side up and one side down. Um, the side that's up is the side that's making this decision, the side that's making this choice to let go and to move forward and to let the mind rest a little bit, like come down off of that hill, right? And um, go out into the world. And what do we have on the bottom? Five of keys, which is fulfilled while we have four, five, and six, right? Because this is keeping us from being able to achieve our goals, from being able to reach that place. And I can't help it again. Here's all these windows, right? Like being able to see what's out there. A window allows us to see. A door allows us to walk through. So we're really um, looking at what's available, like taking this time to observe and maybe from the confines of a comfort zone. Right. Two fives here on the bottom. Change. It's like what is what is keeping the change from occurring? Right? The choice of uh, holding on to the to the battle is like let go of the battle. Go ahead and say give up. But you know, quitters um winners know when to quit. That's just something that's time to move forward on. Slow but steady. Slow but steady. Yep, because it's going to take us a minute. Healing takes a while. Getting a giant log out of the road so that we can continue on our path takes a while. Sculpture, good art, takes a while. You know? Mastery and control over it. And here's that Queen of Wands inspiring you to want to go forward. Abundance. Wow, in this row now we have, uh, so we have five, six, four, and uh, I thought it was, and there's these three coins. 13 is abundance, right? That's the four, four, four. There's those three coins of the I Ching. Um, letting go of this and allowing that healing to come through, allowing the uh, version of yourself before it happened and the version of yourself that allowed it to happen and now become the person that you are today. And being grateful for both of those um, individuals that you once were who allowed you to become the person that is capable of creating all of this, the person who is capable of seeing all of this, of understanding it, and that brings in abundance. We move those blockages. It takes courage, right? I don't see the strength card here, but this takes courage, and it takes um, peace, you know, blissful peace, and emotional release. Yeah, letting it go. Letting it go on the bottom, discernment, knowing what to keep and what to let go, right? You could be making, you could be um, moving toward a point where you're able to make money off of your creations, um, bring in an abundance of um, emotional, emotional satisfaction. 
but also, um, you know, it's relief, relief and release. Wow, Phoenix on the bottom. You're going to read that one because, see, too many cards came out. Like maybe that, I got four, I thought it was two. Let's try again. Can we just have one critter, one critter to help us today along our path? The rooster, love it. This is a wake up call. The time is now, you know. Um, roosters and the Chinese zodiac are very similar to the sign of Aries, which is that phoenix right there because um, they're pioneering, right? They're willing to um, go off on an adventure and they don't back down they're not afraid to fight um for what it is that they they believe what it is that they need and like i said it doesn't fighting doesn't always imply violence right you can fight for a cause in a very peaceful manner and um it feels like there's like this amount of expression here via a uh, um, creative outlet to release some of this frustration that may have been caused by the devil to let go of these thoughts, the Ten of Swords, um, and to choose our battles, right? Come down off of that hill and, t and take uh, what we need and leave the rest. That's that, um, you know, release of burdens here. Wake up call, pride, routine. Rise and shine. The familiar cock-a-doodle-doo of a rooster is the call of a new day. With an internal clock that is attuned to the natural rhythms of the earth, the rooster can be depended on to start to alert its surroundings to the arrival of dawn, a fresh start filled with possibilities. Rooster is not afraid to claim its day, and you shouldn't be either. Call your desires into existence and repeat them over and over again until it becomes second nature. The rooster is all about building habits and routines that best suit you, even if you're a night owl. When the rooster appears, you can all, it can also be a wake-up call that you're not living up to your full potential. Seize the day. Everyone has the same number of hours in a day, but it's what you do with your time that makes the biggest difference. Take pride in your actions and be bold. Your desires would not be yours if they were not meant for you. Wow. So here we go. And we start off, remember, with Burkana, with the growth, with the all things are timely. And do you have the patience? Do you have the steadfastness to achieve this? Of course you do. Of course you do. Um, any dark corners should be cleansed out, and this must be carried out diligently. Modesty, patience, fairness, and generosity are called for here. Do you possess these virtues? Once resistance is dispersed and rectification carried out and seen to hold firm, then through steadfastness and right attitude, the blossoming can occur. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. Ah, awesome. I love it. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I hope that was helpful. I hope that you guys got something out of it. I hope that you come back and see me again tomorrow. Thank you for remembering to hit the like and subscribe buttons and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.